just gonna look this up for the first time. Everybody. Animal and dog sacrifice can happen as part of a religious ritual, as part of an occult practice, or at the hands of animal abusers. When someone is sacrificing animals for dark, uh, huh? where to go? Before you continue reading, we want to let you know that the information in this blog about dog animal sacrifice is extremely disturbing. However, the Wounded Paul Project, we believe, is important to bring awareness to this uh, inhumane treatment of animals. It's, although it's hard to read, it is extremely important that you, that you do. Recently, there have been a number of animal and dog sacrifice that have taken place throughout the United States. While the history of animal sacrifices is sometimes that dates as far back as ancient Greece, so to the uh, king of Greece, today these occult rituals are not only illegal, but also extremely violent and cruel, and you can't prove it. Uh, however, in the United States, dog sacrifices are completely legal, contradicting the many animal abuse laws in place throughout the country. Well, this is... Maybe I looked up the wrong thing. I should probably look up. Um, dog sacrifices to be Franco was still weak, unable to stand up. The boy was still unable to eat or drink except milk. received intravenous fluids. The danger was almost gone, but he still had a healing process ahead. He would have to relearn how to eat, drink, walk, and trust people. He was doing really well. He could eat and drink by himself without help.
he started to notice other friends in my house. The professor was trying to explain the nitty gritty details of animal sacrifice. Why did the Romans do this? How did the ritual really play out? Living in the sanitized world of Boston, Massachusetts, I had never witnessed such a thing and I really had no idea what an animal sacrifice might look like. So she. Poisoned by food, poisoned by neighbor, snail bait, chocolate. Let's try this one. Dog poison control. 24 hour question answer, nine seconds. Poison family, Sus suspect's neighbor, poisoner, dog. Let's see. And did his own backyard. He defied the odds by surviving, but the family does not believe that rat poison got there by accident. Rat poison. Huh. Seven Action News reporter Brianne Palmerini is live in Wyandotte tonight with their suspicions. Brianne, what is this family telling you tonight? Well, Carolyn, this is potentially a story of a very bad neighbor. That's who they believe left the poison possibly on purpose for their dog. Now, their dog doing a lot better tonight. This is Zeke right here, and he's playing and running around. That wasn't the case 24 hours ago. Yeah, they said there was an 18% chance of him living. And then the one uh, technician came in and also said that out of all five years that she's worked there, there has been, with all the cases of rat poisoning and dogs, she said they had one survival. But as to how he got into the poison, they think it was malicious. Melissa and Michael Duda and their two boys, ages two and four, have lived in this home for about two years. They say there have been a lot of issues with their next door neighbor, which prompted them to build this fence on their side. But this time, they say the issues went too far. And I come out here, and that's when I find the rat poison right in my yard, and there's like 20 tablets of just rat poison. This is home video Michael shot. You can see the poison right next to a hole under the fence. The Dudas have filed a police report. Officers are investigating. We tried to see if their neighbor wanted to talk, but even though there were cars parked outside, no one came to the door. The Dudas are worried this could happen again and be worse. And we just want justice and we just want, we want to live. Yeah, good luck, buddy. <laughs> In peace, you know, I, I I, I, you know, I had two little kids, you, you know, you see her, I, I'm scared, you know, like what, what would happen if I'm not home? Zeke, of course, made his miraculous recovery. The family spent big bucks on the chance he could pull through, and they're so glad they did. I couldn't even explain how amazed we felt. We have the chances that he had surviving and that he did. It was just, it's outstanding. Wyandotte police are investigating the situation. They did tell the Dudas, though, that this could be a very difficult case to prove. As for Zeke. Yes, it is. It's very difficult to prove. Your heart tells you what it is, like uh, Bowie. Just a week ago, he was fine. For some reason, when I seen this video. <laughs> June 29th, one day after my birthday. For some reason, after this video, I, uh, I figured, oh, black dog has a problem, put him to sleep because of the suffering, and um, I just knew that my dog was next. Morning, everybody. June 28th of my birthday. It just wasn't looking good. I think I even commented somewhere. Tell, uh... Hey, Tyrone, tell, tell Lucky I said hi, you know, like in, in animal heaven. They specifically like to possess or, or go into the spirit, into the body of a black haired dog, a black dog. For some reason, they, that's what the Muslim guy was saying. This Muslim uh, I man was saying that the jinn like birds and they like dogs, black haired dogs. So this was three days ago. Today's the 20th. And Bowie 
which is a black haired dog. He was eating a little bit, but it seemed like he was being distracted. Like he's hearing frequencies. And then this was pretty much the last time he ate anything. It's like he's getting ready to eat, but then he hears a frequency. And he's like, uh, oh, I'm out of here. And then this was back when Bowie Merlin, four years ago. If you like to... Was a very happy, healthy, eating fine kind of a dog. And it, you notice that his name is... Bowie Merlin. Whether it's true or not, but if this be the case, which they say it is, let's take it another step further. What does frequency do to us? We got this thing. What does frequency do to us? Not, I, I mean, we know what it does to dogs, but what about us? That surrounds this planet. Well, we'll say it's like the heartbeat of the planet. It's called the Schumann Resonance resonance the magnetic resonance of something it's like a bell when you hit a bell right taylor's got the bell in the back you tell that sob what a piece of crap they are he's uh president of uh the people's republic of china g 11 what why is there so much 11 it's almost like everything's coded isn't that right merlin merlin you Donate. It's almost like everything's coded, isn't that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. Why is there so much 11? It's almost like everything's coded, isn't that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. That right, Merlin? Merlin, that right, Merlin? 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 Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. What do you think? What do you think? Why do you think we see X all the time? Is that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. Is that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. Is that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. Is that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. Go eat, Bowie. Bowie, go eat. Bowie. Bowie. Bowie Merlin. What do you think? What do you th And they say the issues went too far. And I come out here, and that's when I find the rat poison right in my yard, and there's tw like 20 tablets of just rat poison. This is That's not the right thought. This message ain't for everybody. This is only for the right thinking men and right thinking women. Specifically you women, if you sensitive, don't watch this video. If you're not a righteous woman, then don't watch this video because your, your feelings gonna get hurt. You're gonna be offended at me. So the best thing for you to do is to turn this video off. If you ain't sure if, in yourself, woman, if you're not sure in yourself, if you're still insecure, don't watch this video. Because your feelings are going to get hurt. I think we see X all the time. This is only for 
righteous men and righteous women. Specifically for righteous men. If you a beta male, turn this video off right now. You're not going to recognize this vibration, this frequency. Turn the video off now, the same for you. Anybody insecure within themselves, turn this video off and don't watch it because it ain't for you. This video is about Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel. Coded, isn't that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know, you're named after a wizard. What do you think? How do you recognize that thing and what to do with it when you see it? First of all, y'all got to understand there's a Jezebel spirit out here. I'm sure y'all have all talked about it, all read about it and everything like this. What does it mean? It means the ego, the feminine ego, just as we have the masculine ego. We have a feminine ego as well. Remember, everything has a counterpart to it. Think, what do you think? Why do you everything. think we see X all the time? So we came male and Why female. We well, there's an evil counterpart, the male and female as well. XI is chai. chai. So in the male, we have that as the ego, the intellectual chai, ego. Chai, which is the symbol. See, male is the thought, Supposedly female Christ. is feeling. So when the male is in his ego, his intellect overrules God's word. So uh, look at this judgment. It's very similar to what we read last time. The dog shall eat whoever belongs to Baasha. Jeroboam so got the same 11? treatment. It's almost like everything's coded. Isn't that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know you're named after a wizard. And dies in the city. The birds of the air will eat whoever dies in the fields. Now the rest of the acts of Baasha, what he did and his might, What do you think? What do you? Are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah of, of Israel? So Baasha rested with his fathers, was buried in Tirzah. Then Elah, his son, reigned in his place. An altar for Baal in the temple of Baal that he built in Samaria. Just watching Will Smith turning into spaghetti. And I go, that's weird, because I was just at the gym before taping the show, before she sent me that little at Jacob tweet response, wearing a Bel Air shirt. And I explained to him what Bel was. Bel Air. Bel Air. Right? Bel Air. Be Ahab and Jezebel. A marriage made in hell. Hail, the Lord of this world, the God of this world. See this plaque for a guy named Christopher Morningstar. We'll read more about him next time. You must have known where I was going with this one, Skip. <laughs> I'll tell you. July 20, 2023. Ahab and then Jezebel, because of Jezebel's spirit, Ahab just kind of, you know, let her go and do her thing, even though Ahab was the king. And them. And Ahab made a wooden image. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. In the days of Hiel, of Bethel, Belt Jericho, he laid its foundation with Abiram, his firstborn, and with his son, Segub. Segub, who names his kid Segub? Uh, well, <laughs> he set up its gates according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke through Joshua, the son of Nun, not Anun, the son of Nun, or son of Nun, as it would be said in Hebrew. So Some at least we said we could finish the chapter, Very and we will use Ahab. Good afternoon, preface friends. Stephen Benoon here. For the ministry of Elijah the prophet, what's coming up in the next few chapters is just classic. I love it. 
and I love teaching it, and I love teaching it on top of Mount Carmel overlooking the valley that Elijah the prophet did these things in with Ahab and Jezebel. And if that's something you're interested in joining Cody, us isn't on, that right, we'll Merlin? going to Israel Merlin, you know, you're named after uh, a wizard. Again in May of 2024, just to get the word out, uh, we already have 280 or something people signed up for that trip. So it's in Second Chronicles 16 is the rest of the story. But it's going to be a while till we get there. So by that time, you will have forgotten, because I will have forgotten. So when this happened, God sent to King Asa of Judah a prophet, a seer, by the name of Hanani. And Hanani came and said to Asa the king, because you did not trust in the Lord your God, but trusted rather in the king of Syria. What do you You're going to have you... war the rest of your life. Then he said this, For the eyes of the Lord move to and fro throughout the entire earth, that he might show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are loyal to him. Beautiful promise. I love that verse. But it's attached to the fact that the king made a political move, but no spiritual move. He didn't trust the Lord. He trusted in an alliance. Nothing wrong with making a political move, but not first. Coded, isn't first that right, Merlin? First seek the Lord. First get counsel God. from God. G, 11. What? Coded, isn't that right, Merlin? Coded, isn't that right, well right, Merlin? Coded, isn't that right, Merlin? Coded, isn't that right, Merlin? It says Asa so became enraged, angry at the prophet, and it's almost put like him everything's in prison. Coded, isn't that right, Merlin? Merlin, you know so you're named Asa after a wizard. Asa was a good king generally, but he sure did not take constructive criticism very well. He put the man who gave him the word of God, the voice of God, threw him in jail. Now there's a proverb you know about, Proverbs 29. There's a, there's a, there's a proverb. Robert. He who is often reproved, but hardens his neck. I was just at the gym before taping the show, before she sent me that little at Jacob tweet response, wearing a Bel Air shirt. And I explained to him what Bel was. Bel Air, Bel Air, right? Bel Air, Bel. The Lord of this world, the God of... <laughs> <laughs> this world. Yeah. You could be the God of this world, because this world's going down. Being the God of heaven, the God of heaven is bringing this world down. The, the, not not the God, God, the the wrong one. The one that... Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they sent the Arch of Baal all over the place. It's like the uh, Baal worship. It's like false gods. And I explained it to him, and I talked to him about the Oscars. Then another guy chimes in. And next thing you know, I'm giving a whole video for free <laughs> to these people about the Oscars. The Summer of the Soul, right, which was going on with the Harvest. We talked about this with Will Smith. Will, which means proud, stiff neck. Smith, which means striker. He smites suddenly Chris be destroyed. Rock, the Rock of Christ, Hardens symbolically. His neck. At the Summer of the Soul, neck. the Harvest, Hardens the awards being neck. given out. The Will Bel Air, Prince be Bale. Destroyed and that without remedy. Thank God for that, stiff neck generation. You know that verse, Proverbs 29, verse one? He who is often reproved, but hardens his neck or hardens his heart, same thing, he's stiff necked before the Lord, will what do you come to destruction, will be destroyed. And will come to destruction, will be destroyed, will Smith stiff neck. And I go, that's weird, because I was just at the gym before taping the show, before she sent me that little at Jacob tweet response, wearing a Bel Air shirt. And I explained to him what Bel was. Bel Air, Bel Air, right? Bel Air, Bel. The Lord of this world, the God of this world. And that suddenly. 
So let's see what it can't be sudden enough, Skip. But the joy I have is the fact that I know that it's coming, and uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go through all the attacks that the Bible talks about, and uh, but in the end, my dog will lick Jezebel's blood and Ahab for uh, torturing him to death. It happens to Asa again. He's a good guy generally, but he's he's sort of hardening his heart now. He put this prophet, not mentioned here, but mentioned in Second Chronicles, put him in jail. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I expect to go to jail. I expect to get bailed out. Bailed out. Bail out. And um, when it's all said and done, Jezebel is finished. Ahab's finished. My dog gets uh, vengeance and licks the blood of that. I don't even know if you can call it a human, just whatever Jezebel is, the spirit of Jezebel. Verse 22, Then King Asa made a proclamation throughout all Judah. None was exempted. And they took... None was exempted. So it, does that mean steep and none was exempted? Took away the stones and timber of Ramah, which Baasha used for building. And with them, King Asa built Geba of Benjamin and Mizpah. I wonder if Asa was King Asa. Pazuzu is a jed, jed demon. Let's go to page four here. Dark matter. See there. Hello, my friends, Jake. Exploring dark matter there with the Hadron Collider. Look, corrupted sheriff right there. Think. What do you think? Is it Jin? They're all seated in masters of disguise right there. Why do you think we see X all the time? Nobody wants... ...to talk about the jid. I'll talk about it. Whatever information you give me, whatever I believe, whoever I think may be responsible for certain things, I have no problem pointing them out. Because... Now it's like life or death. It's it's going too far. They're going to continue to go far. And somebody has to do it, right? You know, nobody wants to talk. Look, devil. Isabel. Jacob is Isabel. Israel. Jacob's Isabel. That's what that reminds me of. Because the spirit of Jacob Israel, it's not clean. It's just not clean. I'm not, you don't, when you talk about someone's dog's name and talk about torture devices and making people brain dead, and my dog is on his deathbed right now, uh, most likely poisoned, but I can't really prove it. You're, that's when, that's when it's just, it's, it's, a, it's over is what it is. You can try to change the laws and the times all you want. But it's not going to happen this time, and none will come to your help. Bible. Lustful.
bank collapse, that would be who would cause it, the jinn. The jinn would be the ones that would bring about the collapse because they're the ones that control sorceries. I, you know, I look forward to the banking, the bank collapse. I look forward to, it's like, oh, well, all right, well, I can't go to work. Now it's time to retire from that portion because it's only everything negative that happens to me. It, God is going to use it for the better. And he's just going to keep, uh, he's just going to keep moving, moving me up in the, in the, in the stature until everybody is out of here. Right there. Okay. There's Adolf Hitler, true beast. There's your Noahide laws. In other words, true beast. There's a fake beast. And then there's a true beast. There's, there's Satan, and then there's the flunky that he puts in place of. Right there, Adolf A. Hitler, the true beast, Mark of the Beast, is a jinn. You are God. Drag queens, jinn, dressing like women. Right? The Scott McQuake talks about the jinn being Anunnaki. Anunnaki, the disembodied spirits of smokeless fire, original God. Right? Let me keep going in the 666 arena. See, 111 means criminal illicit, 666 in English means absence. absence. When you talk about 111, Jacob was asking about 111, and you're explaining what 111 is. It's a spirit. So one 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 in the Strong's concordance when the algorithm dictates it. It dictates it. You'll see here. Now one 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 in the Hebrew number is something totally different. See, unlawful thing, abominable, the abomination that causes desolation will be a jinn. A jinn. So seven thousand people haven't bailed their head to bail. Very weird. Has to do also with meeting the Oracle of Delphi. The Oracle of Philadelphia. We're in the Matrix, people. You know, the Oracle is going to offer us a cookie, everything. All right, so the Oracle said to Neo, you're not the one. In other words, if you're referring to yourself being the Oracle, well, She's a liar. It's gonna be fine, don't worry. For every hero, there's gotta be a villain, right? For every... Okay. So, for every hero, there's gotta be a villain, right? For every black, there's gotta be a white. For every yin, there's gotta be a yang. Kind of a deal, I guess. See, you're just, the thing is, you're just a little bit too excited about being evil. Ophiuchus, the last time I spoke about Ophiuchus. Three years ago, maybe. Three years ago, maybe around the same time all this stuff happened, where I said in about three years' time. Yeah, you gotta go, man. You gotta go, Jacob. I had enough. <laughs>